The Volta River Basin in West Africa is shared by six countries, Benin, Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Mali and Togo. But Ghana is the major beneficiary of the waters flowing through the Volta River Basin before the river flows to the Gulf of Guinea. Although it covers a large watershed, many people living in this basin have no access to clean water for households or farms. Years of low rainfall and land degradation are now causing major water shortages. Here in the Ghanaian town of Kumasi, most vegetables are grown by small-scale and backyard farmers who live in or close to the city. They have no choice but to use the city's heavily polluted wastewater for growing their crops. Using this water poses severe health risks for everyone from farmers to sellers to consumers. But banning the use of such water is not an option, as that would put thousands out of a job. Researchers are now trying to find other solutions. We have to look at various entry points where contamination can take place and where also risk mitigation measures can take place. The first one is the farm level in our case in the farm polluted water is used. Several national and international research organizations have joined hands to address the problems of Ghana's water shortages and water quality. Their aim is to improve food safety while supporting farmers to get the best out of their limited water and land resources. This project is supported by the CGIAR Challenge Program on Water and Food. This project is basically looking for ways to make vegetable production safer. We found that the contamination levels were so high. So they were coming from the water that they use and also from the manures that they apply. And after that, then we started asking ourselves, what can we do to lessen the problem? Piped water is not available to most households. So using that is not an alternative. And geophysical studies have ruled out tapping any groundwater sources. It's possible to treat the wastewater, but the costs are too high for municipal authorities here, a reality in many developing countries. If that is the case, then we have only polluted water for farmers to use. So we have to think about how can they use it safely. Researchers from the International Water Management Institute and the local university are working with farmers on safer methods of using this wastewater. A few farmers have set up their plots as test sites where others can visit to observe. The new practices aim to reduce contact between contaminants and vegetables. The scientists have been working closer to us. We, we always meet them when they come here we, we, we tell them there are problems and they also help us and sometimes we go to their workshops and they taught us and we come, we bring it to the other farmers and we teach them. The big challenge is to find ways to enhance public health without putting farmers and sellers out of their jobs. Two methods are being tried out. Researchers found that they can minimize contamination if they draw water from shallow wells without stirring up sediment. They also discovered that vegetables can be made safer if watering is done close to the ground and if manure is applied cautiously. Both methods take a bit more time for farmers, but the health benefits are impressive. The next step is to go to the households, to the kitchens, where they actually then wash and prepare the vegetables. In the end, it's everybody's business to get cleaner food on the tables. The only way to make it happen is to raise awareness among farmers, sellers and consumers.